Hey, hey, good morning, everybody, on this beautiful Monday morning. Cool and brisk here in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, but it's good to be alive. Amen. And uh, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And uh, just again, hope everybody's doing well. Folks will be coming on this morning. And, uh, you know, I just want to say, uh, you know, uh, if you're watching Tidbits, you know, let me know. Say hi. Uh, a hello or something, uh, you know, sometimes it shows that uh, how many people are viewing, uh, but it's nice to know that uh, who is, because uh, I've had people approach me uh, on tidbits and, uh, you know, sometimes you wonder if we're reaching anybody and uh, uh, just out of nowhere, if somebody, hey, man, I just want to let you know. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, well, let me know. OK, uh, good morning, Dina. It's good to see everybody uh, on this morning. But uh, that said. Uh, 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 you know, just, uh, just say hi, uh, just a quick hi. You don't have to say a whole lot or you can ask a question. Uh, we can go from there, <laughs> but anyhow, uh, good morning from, uh, this is Pastor Randy Scott with Iron Faith Fellowship Church with our morning tidbits. And, uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about hanging on to Jesus and not the noise. And, uh, you know, we have talked about these things before, but we can so easily get distracted and get pulled away and, and, uh, uh, Things can seem right when they're not right if we listen to the noise and we don't hang on to the promises of our Lord. And uh, again, uh, you know, for us to help the lost uh, understand or attract the lost to understand, we've got to do differently than the lost do. And uh, sometimes we don't do so good at that as believers, do we? You know, we get kind of hung up on the same things because we're listening to the noise and we're not trusting the words of Jesus. Uh, you know, we're trusting the words of men out there and we're not trusting the words of Jesus enough. You know, uh, he's made us a ton of promises uh, that, that happen. Uh, they come true, uh, you know, and uh, again, he promises too. like, you know, we follow the ways of the world. Guess what? Uh, uh, we're going to be in trouble. And, uh, you know, uh, we just got to hang on tight to our Lord more and more and more each day and trust him and trust in his word because he's promised us he'd never leave us nor forsake us. But we listen to the noise and we get distracted and we get pulled away. And then we wonder what is going on in the church, what's going on uh, in our lives and, and what's happening around the world. And, uh, and that's what we tend to focus on, okay, is all the junk. And we don't need, we've got enough junk, okay? we got enough junk probably in our, uh, a small area of lives in our families and stuff without taking on the world's junk. And uh, we need to pay attention, but we need to compare it to the word of God. Uh, uh, and that's what I just try to promote always is always compare everything, test everything, prove everything against the word of God. And guess what? You'll be less distracted. OK, you'll be hanging on to Jesus more and you'll not be hanging on to the noise. Well, the Galatian church uh, did just that. They, they, they listened to the noise. And they got very distracted. And Paul wrote them a letter, uh, uh, you know, uh, encouraging them to, to get refocused, okay, and who they are were in Christ. And, and, and uh, that's what he made mention, you know, how, how soon you're quickly turning away. And, uh, uh, and that is happening today, how soon uh, people are quickly turning away. Uh, uh, because, again, they're, they're listening to and they're trusting the wrong voices out there. They're listening to the noise. And they're not trusting, again, in, in the word of God, in the words of Christ, uh, where he promised uh, uh, what he was going to do. You know, in my father's house are many mansions. If it weren't so, I would have told you. OK, I go to prepare a place for you. OK, that's a promise. You know, we're reminded that this is not our home. But yet, you know, he said, build not treasures up on earth where moth and corrupt, you know, uh, break in and thieves break in to steal. Man, I'm just messing that all up. You know, build up your treasures in heaven where moth and rust don't corrupt and thieves don't break into steel. Amen. And I got it right that time. <laughs> so, you know, we got to make sure that we're building in the right way. And, and again, not being caught up in things that distract us and, and, and pull us away from our relationship and pull us away from uh, where we need to be in Christ. Pull us away from fellowship. OK, from right fellowship, from Christ and from like minded believers. Uh, that are going in the way of the Lord, you know, and it's hard. I'm going to tell you something. It's hard. You know, when you're following Christ, guess what? You're not going to make a lot of friends. You're not going to make a lot of friends. And and uh, people are going to uh, uh, be distracted from you. They're going to be repelled by you. And, you know, and the Bible says that, you know, the word of God says that. Jesus said the enemies will be the people of your own family sometimes. 
And uh, uh, so we've got to understand, you know, when we're following Christ, it's not easy, but it is easy. Wow, that's an oxymoron, isn't it? And uh, uh, but he will get you through. But if we're trusting in his word, guess what? Then we're going to understand what's happening. OK, but if we're listening to listening to the noise, OK, we're not going to understand. We're going to be distracted of what's going on around us. But let's read the word of God. Uh, I want to read what uh, Paul wrote to Galatians, uh, to the church of Galatia. And I'm going to read verses six through ten. And uh, again, what they did was they got distracted. OK, they got distracted. And then they started believing every whim of doctrine that was going on that was being handed down. They were being pulled away, pulled away. And, and Paul was reminding them. Uh, uh, who, uh, whose they were. Okay. So why is it by faith that you accept your Christ? But now you're doing these kind of things, but uh, let's read verses uh, six through 10 Galatians chapter one, very short. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you into the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel, uh, to you than what we have preached, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches another gospel to you than the one you receive, let him be accursed. Verse 10, for do I now persuade men or God? Do I seek to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. Okay, it just comes back to who we're really truly needing to please, uh, and that's Christ. If we're not, then we're wasting time. OK, we're wasting time and we're losing ground. And that's not what God's best is for us. OK, we need to be building on the rock and not building on the sand. And uh, we need to remember the words of Jesus and the promises. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't worry about how you're going to eat, clothe and all those kind of things, which we do, don't we? We do. We look at because what happens, we, we're getting caught up with the noise. OK, oh, the economy is doing this and this is doing that. And we're told in the word of God that 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 things are going to happen like this. OK, Timothy, Titus, uh, Thessalonians, you get in those get in the word of God and read these things, not to scare you. OK, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to encourage you to get in the word of God so you will build yourselves up in your most holy faith, as it says in Jude and uh, and be who you are in Christ and be strong and victorious and rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice, as it says in Philippians. Uh, you know, again, it goes back to Philippians four, you know, be anxious for nothing. Okay. Don't worry about anything, but everything with your prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God and what, and the peace of God that passes understanding. And, you know, we, we're thinking that makes it, that's when you're going through something is when you start praying that way. Okay. But if you're listening to the noise, you're going to be pulled away and, and you start justifying, uh, bad behavior, basically. Okay. We do that. We justify uh, bad behavior and there's no justification in that okay our justification is that we've been sanctified in christ we've been separated okay and uh, we just need to be who we are in him and trust him even more trust him even more but stand on the word hang on to jesus stop listening to the noise let's pray father we thank you and we praise you and we bless you for who you are father that we are hanging on to you tightly that we need to hang on to you tightly that we need to repent <laughs> of uh, how much we've been hanging on to the world and father let go and let loose and know that you have something better for us and father that if we live our lives like that lord you will provide our need in every way and father when people see that there are going to be people out there still attracted to you through our testimony lord but we've got to live a testimony of faith trusting and believing in you father that they would see our light shining in a world of darkness father help us guide us grow us uh, to, to be better in you, not better in us, but better in you. And when we're better in you, guess what? It betters us. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you for who you are. Do a work in us today. This is a day you've made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we will face the things because you are with us. You are with us. You are our shield. We thank you, Lord, for those things in Christ's name. We pray. Amen. 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 All right. It's good to see everybody. You guys have a blessed and awesome day. And don't stress. Give God the mess. He'll take care of the rest. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for some more morning tidbits. Bye-bye.